Did Backer touch the ball? That is the question. If you're not too sure what I'm on about, it was Colombia versus USA. And the goal that went down as Backers, I don't even think it came off his foot. It's up for debate, really. I'll let you guys decide. Let me know in the comments section. But anywho, he did get himself an international man of the match card. And now he's an 84-rated striker. Looks solid. So if you are needing Ultimate Team Coins to go and pick him up, then head over to FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com. Links below in the description. Use the code Fuji. Get yourself a discount. Or if you are wishing to purchase games, head over to G2A. And also, so use the code Fuji. So for today's review, I switched up the formation. I went to a 4-3-3 flat and it was playing really well. The player instructions that I used for Backer was to stay central. I didn't ask him to get in behind. I wanted him to have a balanced attack. So occasionally he would come and collect the ball, use his good hold up play, and then he would also make runs uh, from time to time. So with his uh, card, it looks very nice. 85 pace, 88 shots, 70 passing, 85 dribbling, 28 defense, and also 82 physical. So I played six games, scored eight goals, received one assist. It's good. Good. I think that's great. It's not the best, but definitely it's a pretty good ratio. And his in-game stats are solid. Although I've always classed Backer as a target man, he has some pace. He's got some power about his play. Fantastic positioning, finishing, and also shot power. But can you see what's really bad about the card? Two-star skill moves and two-star weak foot. Oh dear, yeah, that isn't great at all. But overall, he looks solid. So let's have a look what he's like on the pitch. So I picked up Backer for 60,000 coins. And I think that's a really good price for what he's able to bring to your team and ideally I like I said I would actually suggest to keep him as a central player but he can play two roles and two roles very very well so first of all he can hold up the play and assist your team in keeping possession or he can run in behind so that's why I would say to keep him as a balanced attack so he occasionally drops back and then also makes runs in behind because he can do that and he does it very very well the only downfall that I found to be like a sort of a, a major con for me is with my strikers I do like them to drift wide as well just to hold possession and wait for other people to come into the play and with backer although he has the pace to do that he doesn't have the skill moves so if you're in a tricky situation he doesn't feel the best to dribble with but then again if you use him the way I did which was just to keep him central and just uh, wait for the play just to uh, sort of open up around him then if you are inside or around the edge of the area he's going to be able to finesse and, and finesse very very well like inside the box long shot wise you can shoot a cross goal he's got a really good shot on him so whether or not it's going to go in or even test the keeper or come off the post it's an accurate strike so with this finishing I had no problems at all with that and overall just reactions and just heading ability like in his in-game stats it doesn't really suggest his jumping is like overall that great or even his heading accuracy it's only 82 but he managed to score two headers and one of them I don't even know I don't even think it was offside personally but I left it in the clips for you guys to have a look at it was one of the first clips if I'm not mistaken so overall I think his positioning is great and if you are uh, wanting him to be a target man he's able to do that but like I said keep him as a balanced attacker and he's just a very very good finisher so depending on it if that's going to suit your style if you're wanting someone with a little bit more I, I guess dribbling and just overall skills then I'd probably stay clear of him but if you're looking just for an out and out finisher that is able to provide good positioning and hold up play then back is going to be your man so for 60,000 coins would recommend him he's a pretty decent player so thanks so much for watching guys I'm going to be giving him an 8 out of 10 8.5 out of 10 I should say and uh, well overall enjoyment 5 out of 5 thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Team out. Please.